How's it going, everybody? Scarf Chomp Gaming here, and today we are gonna do a little different video for you here. This um, will be a team building video, and uh, we're gonna build a team here today. Uh, where do I start the video here? I guess what I will start with is just kind of thought process on going into building a team and uh, kind of the tools that we use um, when it comes to that. Uh, obviously, before I breed or pour anything over or go to um, Pokemon Home. Uh, basically, I'll come here to Showdown and we'll test we'll test teams out. But uh, one of the tools here that I have with me, uh, always 3B, this is where I learned pretty much everything I know about Pokemon for the longest time uh, before, you know, stumbling upon Smogon. Um, here's a little team type calculator I like to use. Uh, we've got Picolytics up here to kind of show us what we're going to be going up against. Um, you can see Zapdos there, my arch nemesis. Um, and then obviously the battle singles, uh, battle stadium singles subreddit. You guys should definitely check this out if you haven't. This is where I'm going to be a lot of the times uh, where we can interact, uh, go back and forth on some team ideas and stuff like that. Actually, I have a post now about uh, team building with you guys. I want to try something out where we'll have people comment. Uh, you, you should find the post. Um, I just put it out there. Um, comment a Pokemon you want to build with, and you can leave a set if you want a build set. Um, are not just a Pokemon and I'll build something around it but uh, the top six liked comments I will build that team with those six Pokemon that are in the top liked. so uh, definitely head over there and um, leave something in the comments there and we will build a team around that uh, but yeah that is that let's get back to showdown here um, and today <clears throat> what I want to do is kind of build just kind of a run-of-the-mill team nothing crazy uh, so when you build a team, there's there's things you got to look out for. So obviously you need like a sweeper or an attacker. Um, obviously pretty obvious. Obviously pretty obvious. Um, you can go physical, special. Now I I don't I know most of you guys understand how Pokemon works, but maybe for some of the basic people here who have never team built or something like that, um, obviously you have your physical moves based off your attack stat, your special moves based off the special attack stat um, and then there's defense and special defense all of that great things and there's tons of different moves uh which again most of you guys know about that we can build team strategies from uh main things i like to do when covering things um weather sometimes uh, today we won't go over a whole lot of weather um but uh priority uh, tanks sweepers special physical stuff like that and so for today's team let's just start here on the team builder uh man that day was pretty good um Let's go to a new team format. We're going to go to Battle Stadiums, Gen 8. We're going to add a Pokemon. And I've been kind of annoyed by not being not being the fastest Pokemon out on the field. So I'm going to start with Drake Bolt. Um, just because, and I always like Infiltrator. Uh, honestly, every ability that Drake Bolt has is pretty good. But Infiltrator, I know I have a bred Infiltrator Drake Bolt. And so <laughs> sometimes, honestly... When it goes to building teams, I'm like, I know I have this Pokemon, so it's going to come on this team over this one. Um, and that's just the way it is sometimes, because sometimes it is a lot of work to get a team together. And we'll go over that, guys. I'll get a breeding video. But uh, let's look at some moves here. Now, I want a special attacking Dragapult, just because I haven't run one in a long time. And uh, some of the moves, I think, is a must. This Hydro Pump. I think water coverage is pretty good this gen. And just this meta right now, I should say. Um, obviously, we want to stab Shadow Ball, and obviously, I probably should have first. Uh, where even is that? Oh, not, not very high on there. I guess we could go to Picolytics and even see where Dragapult lands. So here, if you guys are struggling with a set, so lots of physical sets I think we'll find. So they run Life Orb a lot. Clear Body over the... Well, Clear, clear Body and Infiltrator are pretty close. Um, and I guess these are, the, these are the top moves. Okay, so a lot of people are running physical... Um, Dracopults. Not a whole lot special, but there's Draco Meteor, Will O Wisp, Shadow Ball, Fire Blast, Flamethrower, Substitute. Okay, let's go back to our team here. And uh, I do think we need Flamethrower on there uh, for fire coverage. And then let's go with a Draco Meteor just for stab. Um, that all looks good. We're not going to get too fancy here. I want the max speed. Um, we'll save on an item. We might go Life Orb, but I, I have something in mind. I think I want to do. So let's go to this team type calculator here, and I'll throw on Dragon Ghost. And so when we calculate this, our rating's below average. Obviously, we only have one Pokemon right now, um, but we have a lot of weaknesses. Ice, Ghost, Dragon, Dark, Fairy. Um, 
So a lot of weaknesses there, really. But we do have some good resists. So we'll take that with a grain of salt. Now, I do want kind of a tankier Pokemon. And you guys all know that I love Ferrothorn. And what Ferrothorn's going to do here when we go back to this team type calculator is it's really going to give us a good matchup. Um, and honestly, probably really help our rating just because of the, the type. We go, we look at Grass Steel. Steel's going to resist. Um, the here, here, here. Uh, mm, I can't remember. I'm uh, drawing a blank there. I think we'll be okay though. So let's go Steel, Grass. And yeah, we still we still have here, but we did lose some. And now our rating's decent, you'll see. Um, I don't know why I was thinking we resisted Ghost, but whatever. Um, or maybe they changed that in a later gen. Maybe that's where my memory's fogging me. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get Ferrothorn here, and he's going to be our physical wall, right? We're going to go for the Rocky Helmet. Um, and we could look up a set, right? We could go to Smogon, and we could type in Ferrothorn, and, you know, they could give us... Oh, look at that. There's a Battle Stadium single set. Oh, Rocky Helmet, Aka Berry Leftovers, Leech Seed, Garibald, Protect, Body Crest, Power Whip. Pretty standard stuff. Um, yeah. That is pretty standard, but we're going to go back to Showdown. And now the set that I like to run as of late, Leech Seed is a must and pretty obvious. I like Protect, stall out some stuff. Uh, Gyro Ball is great. And I've been running Knock Off, and it's been really good because like uh, when a Porygon comes in and you just knock that EVO light off, it's so satisfying. And I'm fine with the 4 attack over the 4 special defense. It really probably isn't going to make a difference. Now, someone can feel free to argue with me in the comments about that. And I'm sure you can find some calculation where the four special defense matters, but that's that's fine. We're going to leave that on there. <clears throat> um, and for people who aren't 100% familiar with EVs and IVs, I'll briefly go over that here. So over here on the left, we have our base stats, right? These are Ferrothorn's stats, right? This is what makes him different from a different Pokemon. Obviously, Dragapult is different here. Very fast. We know that. Um, with a base 142 speed. Uh, it isn't golf uh, here, guys. This is the higher number, the better. Um, and so you can see Ferrothorn's very slow. That's fine, but what he makes up for in his... What he lacks in speed, he makes up for in defense and special defense. Um, has okay HP. Uh, nothing too crazy to get. Actually, uh, Dragapult has more. But uh, then we'll get into IVs. So, well, I do say Dragapult has more, but you'll see his final HP is 163 versus Ferrothorn's 181. How does that happen? Well, I'll tell you, we have these things called EVs, and there's 510 EVs per Pokemon. And uh, when you, for every four EVs, it increases the stat by one. And so we added 252 on there. What does that come out to? Is it 63? I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head, guys. Um, you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, I believe it's 63. Yeah, something like that. 62, 61, something, whatever. Uh, I don't want to do the math right now. Even though it's probably really simple, I'm not thinking critically right now. <clears throat> so let's build a team, right? Anyway, so HP 252, defense 252, because we want this thing to be a tank. And it has iron ball barbs, which is going to cause the Pokemon to lose eighth of their max HP. And then we've also got Rocky Helmet, which causes them to lose a sixth of their max HP. So if they physically attack us, they're going to make it hurt. And we have so much defense that it's not going to do much to us. Um, so Ferrothorn's great. And again, gives us pretty good coverage here. So now we need to start thinking of another Pokemon that we want to run. And uh, one thing I like for longevity of Pokemon uh, that I really haven't used in a long time, but uh, I, and I think it's going to give us resistance here and here. So if we go, if we give ourselves a dark Pokemon and fairy typing, we now become above average and we're ice fairy and so one pokemon comes to mind here that is dark and fairy and you can probably see it it's the grim snarl right there we'll just add it I don't, i've never i don't even know if i have a g max grim snarl maybe i do i don't know i don't remember um, but i know i've got one bred uh, and we're gonna give it light clay so what light clay does is makes your uh screens your veils last eight turns instead of five super awesome um, I'm going to go with this really common set here of Light Screen, Reflect, Thunder Wave for speed control. Uh, oop, that's Thunder Punch. Uh, I love doing this when I put type in a move accidentally and halfway through a battle and I need that move. I don't know if that's ever happened to you guys, but it happens to me quite often if I'm being honest. Um, and so uh, the guest spread based off of smoke analysis that uh, 
Shodan has coded in is just going to be 252 HP and 252 Special Defense. I'm a little different, and I'm sure this isn't optimal, and somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. But I like to run this, and we're going to go minus. Oh, I did not go over Nature's, guys. I should go over Nature's, and I didn't finish up on IVs either. Um, nature's, obviously, uh, you can kind of see there's a plus and minus, so every Nature has its own thing, like Adamant's going to raise attack and lower special attack, so if we were Adamant, we would be here, um, and you can see our attack stat raise over here on the right, I'm going to go back to the defense, you'll see our, our attack fall and our defense raise, um, that's just the way it goes, that's how it works, and you can see we have 111 defense, 111 special defense, which means Grimstarl does not favor one or the other Pokemon, and usually what I like to do here, since it's equal, I know it's going to do the same amount of damage, whether it's a special attack or a physical attack, and uh, I can throw up my light screen or reflect based on what I think my opponent's going to hit me with or what kind of set I think they're running. Um, really great. Uh, Thunder Wave is great for speed control, which I think is very important on a team, uh, either through priority, um, things like Tailwind, or paralyzing your opponent are great ways to gain speed control. Speed is so important. Um, attacking before, and Trick Room, don't let me forget Trick Room, but attacking before your opponent uh, saves your HP, you can get the KO before they even move. Uh, very important in uh, single battles especially because you only have three Pokemon. But uh, let's think about what we want next. Um, if we look at here, we're weak to Ice and Fairy. And uh, to get rid of our Ice, I do want to throw a Water type on there. And Water type makes us relatively superior. And so if we come in here and research for a Water type, um, Beriscula is OU, and obviously this is Tears, guys. And I realize I didn't go over IV, so I will here on our next Pokemon. Um, I'm kind of thinking Rapid Strike or Shifu, but I feel like I've been using that a lot. I don't want Toxapex, um, even though that is a really great tank. Tapu, I'm annoyed with Tapu right now, so I don't really want to run that. Um, let's keep looking. What's something that's not used a whole lot? So, wow, Gyarados fell all the way to UU. So I'm going to actually click Gyarados, because... I think that is a great click there. So we're going to go water flying. And I haven't seen a whole lot of Gyaradoses lately. Um, so that takes us to above average, which whatever, that's fine. Um, it does kind of get rid of that. We're definitely running Moxie. And we're definitely going Life Orb for sure. Um, that is our best move. Now, I like to have a Dragon Dance just in case you don't want a Dynamax. Um, I'm going to choose the Waterfall because it's, even though if we look... Aqua Tail has 90 power, but that 90% accuracy, I don't want to lose a battle because uh, the 1 out of 10 chance that the move misses. So I'm going to go for the Waterfall. Sure, it's a little less powerful, but I know it's going to hit, right? And that's kind of my safety net. Uh, and then Bounce for our Stab Flying type. It is the only physical, actually, if we go Flying here, if we filter by Flying, Charon's great for, for all these filters for team building. We're obviously not going to run Hurricane, and the only other move we get is Bounce. So we're going to run Bounce, and show you guys why bounce is pretty awesome when you can want to stall out some dynamaxes uh, and then i like earthquake for coverage to tell you the truth um pretty good here and yeah we're just going to go straight up this i think unless we want to prioritize speed which yeah i think we kind of do um uh, with moxie our attack's going to be raising and we'll use the uh max airstream to raise our speed so now let's go back over to our coverage here um, we don't have any ground type, and I think that is important for things like Nihiligo and things like that. So I haven't used this guy in a long time. I'm sure if you guys see Steel Ground, you already know who I'm going to. And we're back up to relatively superior. We do have some weaknesses here, but now the only thing we're, we don't have coverage for is Ice type. Um, and again, guys, use this with a grain of salt. This isn't... Uh, the do all sale just because you get a team that's relatively superior does not mean it's going to win every battle and in fact you can have the best team and you're not going to win every battle that's just the way it is um but real quick before we throw on this extra let's go over ivs because i don't think i did um basically there's zero through 31 possible ivs you can get and these are going to affect stats if i drop this two ivs you can see i went from 170 hp to 169 um they're random, they're programmed. Every time you catch a Pokemon, it's going to have different IVs. There's a slim chance that it has the same as the last one you just caught, but it's slim. Um, and these are all random generated. Now, one way to control that is through breeding. I'll get into that in the breeding guide. But uh, for now, let's just know that most of the time you want to have 31 all the way out, except in like uh, 
Ferrothorn's case where we want it to be as slow as possible. That's why we have a speed reducing nature here. We have a relaxed, which raises our defense, lowers our speed with zero IVs to make Gyro Ball have most da the most damage output we possibly can because the more power the slower the user is than the target. Basically, uh, when we go up against something like Drake Bolt, we're, we're looking at 213 speed versus 22. That's going to have just a crap load of power, right? Okay, and now let's add this Excadrill on here. I love a good focus sash on my Excadrill. Sand Rush, you bet. Swords Dance, Iron Head, and this is just a super basic um, strategy here. If you look, or Iron Head, Earthquake, Swords Dance, ooh, Horn Drill, interesting. Uh, but there's the Rock Slide um, right there at 32.5% of all Excadrills. I have never run this before. That's interesting that people are doing that. Um, and we're going to get the Earthquake. So we've got our Stab here and our Stab here. And then Rock Slide for coverage. And since it's the same accuracy, we're not going to worry about that. Uh, and yeah, there's no there's no reason to not go Max Attack here, I feel. Um, and then let's see for our last Pokemon. We don't have Fire Coverage. I mean, we have, we have Fire Move there. But uh, I really want some fire cover. Now the problem here is we don't really have anything to switch in with special defense. So what we're going to do here, guys, is filter by special defense. And I'm going to type in fire. And when we come down here to the team type calculator, I put in fire. We're relatively superior. Now if I did fire flying, see, because we have a weakness of ground here. If I did fire, well, what happens if I do fire steel? We're still weak to ground. I'm, I'm an idiot. I should not have done that. Um, fire flying. See, now we're back to weak to ice. We're relatively superior. I mean, we're still relatively superior. Um, f fire water, yeah. Uh, fire grass. I don't even, does that even exist? Um, so you get to this point where you can only do, you, you can only get so good, right? Fire dragon, we're still weak, yeah. So let's just go fire. Um, now, obviously, uh, Cinderace screams. Me, me, me when you go to fire, but let's look. So we're going by special defense. So Ho-Ho is obviously not usable. Reshiram, not usable. Flareon kind of sucks, I'm going to be honest. I mean, it's got good attack, but we've got enough attacking Pokemon. Um, let's look at special attack. So Rotom comes to mind. It's not bad. And Fire Electric, honestly, um, is really good now ground i would say this would probably be max or whatever the max rating is i don't even remember what it is uh, oh, it's outstanding i think um technically it should be because we would have levitate and this would not this isn't taking into account levitate so we would not be weak to ground here so really that would give us an outstanding team but i i'm not really feeling rotom here i feel like we've used that too much um volcarona meh uh, but i do like I do like this Magmatar with Vital Spirit. So what this does, when we go Vital Spirit for our ability, that's going to give us um, an option for sleep. So like if we see a Sun Venusaur team, we know that Magmatar has Vital Spirit and can't be put to sleep. Or you know you see a Butterfree on the enemy team, uh, you know you're in good hands there because you can just swap into that Sleep Powder. Or uh, let's say, as much as I hate to say it, a Hippowden. I don't really want to switch into that, but we've got an Assault Vest here. Now, one thing I will say this team does not have is grass coverage. Um, so we might have to run solar beam on this thing just so we have some out. I do kind of like the idea of clear smog. So what uh, clear smog allows us to do is uh, reset opponent's uh, stat changes. And so like if somebody's setting up a bunch, you got like a Chansey in there or a Blissey, somebody like that, somebody belly drums, you can basically reset their... Their stat changes to zero, and so that's pretty good. Obviously, we want a flamethrower. We could probably go for like a something else, but mm, I think the coverage. I'm gonna throw a mock punch on there. I think mock punch is okay. And what? Ooh, nobody has thunderbolt though either. Maybe we'll get rid of the solar beam. We'll deal with those water ground types a different way. We're gonna go thunderbolt here, uh, and then the mock punch is for when we take like a Theramosa down to a sash. Even though it's not going to do much, it will do at least one damage. Um, and then I want to EV this thing a little bit different. 
Um, do, do, do we obviously want? Well, you know what? I'm actually fine with that. I don't care too much about that. Let's give ourselves a little more special defense. So you see there how I we went from 115 to 116 with the four there. So there's kind of the team. Now what we could do, we could go back here. And, uh, well, I doubt we we're going to find uh, Meg Mortar. I doubt, I doubt he even has usage. What is Meg Mortar's usage? Does he even have, like, how, what percentage he's used? Uh, ooh, see, a lot of people are running Assault Vest. Vital Spirit, yup, Modest, okay. Thunderbolt, ooh, Scorching Sands is not bad. Fire Blast and Solar Beam. I'm actually kind of interested in that. Uh, that ground coverage is interesting. I don't know if we gain a whole lot with that, though. Um, and maybe we should go back to Solar Beam. That gives us coverage against uh, Hippowden. But I'll think I'll think about that. We'll, we'll test it out. And, and that's what you got to do, guys. Now that we've got this team assembled, we've got to test it out now. One thing I look up on this team, so we're special here, special there. So two specials, two attackers, and two kind of setters, stallers, speed control, uh, leech seeder guys. Uh, that's the team. Let's see how it tests out. Um, we may we may go with this team. I mean, I have one, two, three, four. I think the only thing I don't have is a Meg Mortar, so that might be an easy breed. Maybe we'll do that for the video. We'll see. But So now we've got this team built. Let's validate it. It is valid for Gen 8 Battle Stadium singles. Perfect. Now, I'm not saying this is the best team in the world. And honestly, you could have the best team in the world, and somebody could beat you just as easy. So let's go into the battle here. Let's find somebody. Uh, okay. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Pretty awful team. Hopefully you're gone. Hopefully you're gone. Hope yeah, you can stay. Hopefully you're gone. Um, that would be ideal. So we do have the flamethrower. We do have hydro pump. I'm looking at you. Uh, if you come out, we've got you. What do we do about everybody else? Probably Gyarados. Let's do this. I think that's interesting. Hey. Oh no, I better. I better switch out. He lowered my attack. Oh, it's a salt vest Landorus. Okay. Um, that probably means that Shadow Ball does not. What is that at? 25 to 27. Stab takes us to 120, which is more base power. So uh, let's hit it. All right, it goes to the, for the Ferrothorn. Has no idea we have Flamethrower. Great coverage, guys. Remember when we were team building, I said that Flamethrower is going to be useful. Let's see, Ferrothorn. Oh, that threat's gone. All right, there's the threat. I was not super excited about. We'll go into our own Ferrothorn. Leech Seed. That's fine. Oh, we have Protect. Okay, going for a Superpower. Very impressive. Uh, yeah, Draco Pulse Worthless at this point. Goes for there. That's fine. Is the protect obvious? Yeah, protect's obvious. I thought about leech seeding there, but you guys know me. I always, always make the wrong move. All right, we got the seeds up. Uh, let's knock off whatever it has. Up, oh, see landers. Yeah, I don't care about that. We've got this game pretty much in the bag. I should have protected. Um, although Max Hailstorm doesn't really do that much. We can protect this turn. Um, let's go for the knockoff. I know it resists, but I want to knock off its choice backs. All right. Let's go for the protect here. We're just going to stall. Um, there's pretty much no way we can lose this. There's the gyro ball. There's the leech seed. GG. So we take out this legendary team. And we'll go to the main menu there. Now let's try it out one more time. Let's just get a couple battles under our way, feel, feel it out a little bit. I see no reason. To not leave Grimmsnarl, really. Um, interesting, interesting team from our point now. What do we do with bug types? I don't know. We'll be fine. 
We got our team. And Clefable is the first one to come. I'm gonna I'm gonna paralyze it. I honestly hate Clefable and I hope we can just paralyze it to where it can't do anything. Um just going to Ferrothorn now. Although it probably carries Flamethrower. That would suck. Uh let's go for the Let's see. Go for the cosmic power. Here comes the gyro ball. We're still slower than it. Um hopefully it's paralyzed and unable to move. It is pretty bulky at this point. Um, this could be a problem for us, and it, it's kind of acting like it is. I want to knock off its leftovers. Um, hopefully not, uh, oh, baton pass, okay, to Rebombi. We knock off its focus sash. Oh, I did not know that, uh, leech secrets pass through. We'll just go for the gyro ball here. I don't, uh, they're trying to set up, oh, and we knocked it out. Perfect. Bad play by our opponent. They really should have kept their Clefable. We were having a hard time dealing with that. And then our opponent's just going to forfeit. Yeah, so bad setup by them. That's not really a great match. Um, and so we'll test again just to see how this goes here. But, uh... Come on, now. There may be some adjustments we need to make. Well, we haven't brought Magmar Tower. We haven't brought Axe I'm thinking, what happens if we go to this team type? Now, I know I shouldn't be... So obsessed with this. What happens if we go? Okay, so steel. Ooh, hear me out. Oh, and we're weak to rock. Are we weak to? Oh, we got fire electric here. Yeah, that doesn't doesn't help us. We'll shoot weak to ground. Steel grass. Hey, there we go. Get Cartana on the team. Get Cartana on the team. Wait, don't we already have a steel grass? <laughs> we could do two steel grasses. Oof. Uh, what if we get rid of steel altogether? We're just weak to rock. Um, okay, so we got finally got an opponent here. Um, who do we like? Who do we hate? I see the way we win this. Uh, uh, we're going to get risky here. What if we... Rock, okay. Who, who resists rock? None other than fighting. Now we're now we're weak to f just about everything. Does grass resist? No, grass does not resist rock. Well, I'll resist rock, guys. Let's find out. And the great thing about this is when you're doing this, steel ground. Oh, ground does. I'm an idiot. And that leaves us weak to ice. Go back to rock. What else? Water. We already have a water type. Still weak to rock, yeah. Okay. We'll figure it out at some point. Our opponent apparently doesn't know they're searching for a match, so I might have to edit some of this out. All right, guys, well, that last opponent there uh, never showed up, so we'll leave the battle timer on. But that's basically our team building there. Now, we got a couple wins on there with the team. Um, okay, it, we may need some adjustments, um, but I think Gyarados has good sweeping ability on this team with the Grim Style. You can set up your screens, you can paralyze, you can lower it like uh, if a Zapdos comes in, set up the light screen, lower its attack with uh, Spirit Break. Go into your Gyarados and either force the switch, and by the time it switches, uh, things are going to have a hard time surviving either a Max Geyser or a Max Airstream. The two actually uh, contemplate each other pretty well, uh, or if something's going to resist the Max Airstream, the uh, Max Geyser is going to hit it pretty hard. Um, so Gyarados is the main sweeper, and look at that, guys. We finally got our opponent here. Oh, hey, look. We were just talking about this. Goes for the Volt Switch. Not a bad play, really, to tell you the truth. This will uh, show us the rest of their team. And Here's what I'm thinking. Nope, Cinderace. You know what I want to do to Cinderace? I want to do two things, to tell you the truth. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is reflect. Oh, he gets the crit. That is pretty pretty poor timing, to tell you the truth. Um. Wow, that sucks. Whatever, right? We'll play along. 
I can see them Dynamaxing, I can see them not. Um, we might be in trouble here, to be honest with you. So they Dynamax, we Dynamax, we take them out. We're 1.5 attack, we're 1.5 speed, that should be game. Uh, yeah, we lost 24.4% of our health. We're feeling good. That crit kind of sucked. Um, but like I was saying with that Zapdos, uh, hopefully it's not... Uh, Choice Scarf Zapdos. Hopefully it's Magnet Zapdos. We could be in trouble here. Hey, we crit back, and I don't think it mattered because we were plus plus one. Now we're plus two. That should just be GG. And this is pretty much the team, guys. Yep, our opponent quit. So good for us, bad for them. But like I was saying, there's kind of the strategy. So Grimmsnarl, I could have gone for that uh, Thunder Wave, and it obviously would have been better. But in the end, it didn't matter. Um, we could have easily swept our opponent there, which we did, um, but I mean, if they would have thrown out their last one, if they would have kept Zapdos, the only way they probably won is by Dynamaxing Zapdos, but we still had Drake Zolt in the back, or Drake, Drake Zolt, Drake Pult in the back, so fun team, uh, we'll, we'll get something worked out, I should have the first five out of six, so I'll make a breeding video on Magmortar, maybe over the weekend, uh, you guys can let me know what you think about that, but, uh, other than that, let me know what questions you guys have. If there's something I missed or something I said wrong, definitely feel free to correct me in the comments. Um, like I said, this isn't a perfect team, and I'm sure we can pick it apart. Um, obviously, I have some uh, miss-ups here and there, like, what, resist rock? I, I don't remember off the top of my head sometimes, and sometimes you just kind of look at the super effective, not very effective thing on the screen. Uh, but uh, I should probably have that memorized a little bit better, but uh, a lot of... A lot of useless facts up in this noggin. So with that, guys, thanks for watching the video. And sorry if it was a little long. I'll try and cut some stuff out. But uh, I want to leave the bulk of the video. And let me know what you thought about this. Obviously, it's a little different from our regular single battle videos. But wanted to spice it up a little bit with a different different style video. And if you like it, uh, I'll definitely do some more in the past. Or in the, <laughs> in the future. Um, not like the past videos. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Definitely be sure, guys, you're uh, hitting this subreddit. Uh, good stuff over here. It's growing. Um, it was at, like, 20 a couple days ago. We're at 30, so that's great. 30 uh, subscribers, I think, or viewers, whatever it says. Um, definitely make sure you're using Picolytics. Uh You can use this team type calculator. Later, literally just Google that, and it'll show up. Uh, Smogan's great for re references. Cerebi we use mainly for breeding, um, and then Showdown for all our testing uh, calculations. There's all sorts of stuff you can do here. Um, but yeah, guys, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I don't have a question of the day prepared for you guys, so uh, just let me know what's going on. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next video, and thanks for watching.